This incident was a true story happened long ago before my grandparents born. The story was told for a generation and eventually became part of the taboo in our village. To begin with, there is one family with both parents and one daughter. One day, his wife went to search some firewood and bring their daughter together with her. Their daughter was still too young to walk and just a little kid, so the wife decided to carry her in the bag. Before she leave, she told her husband, who was fishing behind the house, to come after he was done to help to get their daughter, because she will may not be able to carry both their daughter in the firewood alone at the same time to go home. The husband agreed, so his wife went far away from the house to search for a firewood. After Finis to collect some firewood, luckily the husband came in time to help to get their kid. Her husband carried their daughter and they go home together. It all seemed normal from the beginning, but after a few minutes later, the wife feel astonished to her husband because he was so fast until their distance became so far with each other and it continued until her husband cannot be seen anymore due to the ins and outs of the road. The wife ignored her feeling and assumed that maybe her husband in hurry because some chores to do. When she got home, she saw her husband still fishing behind the house. She went to her husband and asked where their daughter is, but the worst thing is, her husband told that he do not went for their daughter and still fishing at all time, because he totally forgot to keep their promise. The wife very shocked and tell her husband everything what was happened. They ran into where the wife last met the person that resembling her husband's face, or we can say it was her real husband's form. After they got there, they went to search everywhere and found nothing but instead their daughter's scarf that fell on the ground. They feel uneasy and quickly went to the shamans to tell what happened. After doing some kind of ritual, the shaman told them that their daughter is already gone. Both the parents really sad and downhearted. The shaman also told them that the one who came and get their daughter was an evil who resembled the husband's face. They stunned in shock. Then, the wife remembered that maybe that's why that time that thing didn't say anything word nor smile to her because there is something wrong behind that incident. The wife panicked and fainted. Since then, we do not know what was really happened to that kid, but many people say that she was already long gone for being eaten by that creature. And also no one ever go to that place again with the wife that they last meet their daughter's scarf.